How's it going everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle and today we're doing a review on a tablet. I have a, uh, and I'm going to cheat by the way, I have an Acer Icania A1810. Uh, it's a 7.9 inch tablet and we're going to go ahead and start off this review by just giving you the specs of the tablet. So I'm going to go over it and we're going to put it on the screen so you guys can see it too. It's got a uh, 1.2 gigahertz processor, it's a quad core, so it's really good. It's going to give you a good performance, good uh, uh, tasking, no lag, hopefully. It's got a 1 gigabyte standard memory, so that's pretty good for running apps and stuff like that. It does, it is able to use a SD card, a mini SD card, or a micro SD card, and a high capacity micro SD card. Uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes of storage, which is really nice on top of the Micro, on top of that, you can use the micro SD for more storage. It is a 7.9 screen inch, so right underneath that 8 inch. It's a 1024 by 768 screen display resolution. Uh, it is an LCD screen. Uh, of course, you do have your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi. And uh, it comes with Android, I believe, 4.1. You can upgrade to the newest one. Mine's actually running the newest one. What is it? What's the new one? 4.4? 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4.4? 4.4. Something like that? 4.4. 4.4, 4.3, whatever it is. Um, KitKat, that's the one. And then it does come with a two cell uh, lithium ion battery. It lasts for, I would say if you're using it for like videos and gaming, you're probably going to get about three, four hours of uh, usage out of it before it actually needs some kind of charge or at least to put it on the charger. Uh, and it's I'm gonna give you an ounces. I'm getting this from Macer's website, but it's 4.46 ounces. It's not heavy at all, guys. It's a very, very nice tablet. I was actually just recently using it more than I normally do. Uh, I've put some games on it. They run overall really smooth. I think that quad core processor really does help it a lot. Um, the gaming on it, the games that I've been playing, just to kind of give you a little better shot. Uh, Clash of Clans, which is not really too high graphic intensive. Uh, Racing Rivals, which actually does have pretty good graphics, runs really, really smooth. There's a little bit of lag when first loading the game, but overall it runs really, really smooth. You have plenty of storage to load plenty of apps. I don't have a lot, and you probably won't be seeing it because of the glare, but I got Skype on here. I have your YouTube, your Netflix, Hulu, uh, you know, all your shopping ones, Newegg, eBay, uh, Amazon, and then obviously your social media, Facebook, Instagram, and all that. And it's honestly, it's not, it's, it's very smooth when switching between the screens and none of those icons or apps are making it lag whatsoever. Another thing, we're going to go ahead and go in more into the, some of the features that are on this unit. Um, like I said, you got the SD card right here where you can insert it. Very, very easy, very simple, easy to get to. Right next to it is your volume up and down buttons. What's nice about this, and I will show a demonstration of it in this video while, probably while I'm talking about it right now. Uh, it does have an HDMI port. It's a mini HDMI port that you can use to plug it to like a TV or a monitor. I definitely haven't tried that out yet. I'm going to actually be trying that during this review to see how it runs. Uh, you'll, you'll basically be finding out with me if it runs extremely laggy or if it's something that's actually pretty smooth while it's running. Then of course at the bottom here you do have your standard charger just like any other Android device and you have your headphone jack and then your power button at the top. It does have a front facing camera which is probably I haven't couldn't find the stats on it but I believe it's a 1.2 megapixel at the most. The back on it is a 5 megapixel camera with 1080p recording capabilities so that's really nice I mean if you're looking to carry just this around you can take decent pictures at 5 megapixel and also have a 1080p uh, recording for video so that's really good plus depending on your card that you're using for your micro SD slot you'll uh, you know you'll get a good amount of time for the recording of the video notification wise and everything it runs just like any Android device it's very good the only thing and me and Cerebro discussed this the only thing I, I kinda wish um, a lot of Android devices do this is the the buttons on here they're digital so you have to actually rely that nothing goes wrong with the actual device to access any of the menu buttons or the home button or anything like that it's digital it's built into the OS it's not on the outside anything that you can press physically yes it's one less thing that can physically go wrong but at the same time if something's wrong with the OS or something's wrong with the screen then you can't really do anything without those buttons on the outside so that's kinda of my little gripe about it but overall in all honesty 
For what you get, this this runs on Acer's website. I believe I read it for $121.30, uh, which is not a bad price for a 7.9 inch that has a quad core. Uh, like I said, it runs really, really smooth for that price. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a uh, affordable tablet that's not too expensive but still has a very good capability of running apps and running really smoothly. Um, and that's really about it. I don't think there's really much more I, I can really go into. It's for a standard tablet, it's awesome. I think you can definitely compare it to uh, you know, some of the Asus models that are out there and honestly even maybe some of the Samsungs. Yes, the Samsungs do have a better screen and a better resolution, but honestly for the price, for $120, 130 I don't think you can beat it. So I believe two out of three, if not three out of three guys, recommend this tablet once again. Three. Uh, you can get it on Amazon uh, still even till this time. I've had it for about a year. It took me a long time to review this tablet. Uh, and um, yeah, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Acer's website directly. If you go to Acer.com, I believe you can just purchase it there. Uh, Amazon does have them for maybe a little less than what Acer's website's uh, carrying at. I believe I saw for $110. Uh, and I'm sure some other electronic stores like Best Buy or Staples are probably still carrying them around. But I got this as a Christmas gift from Cerebro, so I do appreciate that. And I am using it a lot more often and, and surprised every minute I'm using it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a tablet with a great price, I definitely recommend the uh, Acer Iconia A1. All right, guys, so we got it playing here on a 32-inch 32 32-inch 32 uh, Samsung TV. Uh, we have it set to 1080p. And, uh, well, let me go ahead and mute this. Well, we're not going to remove it, let's do it this way, we'll go into the There we go. So we got it playing, uh, the audio plays through the TV, you're going to control all your sound and volume on the actual TV. Um, it does play both on the TV screen itself and the tablet screen, but the sound is coming from the TV itself and not from the tablet. Uh, the overall quality is actually good, the only reason you'll see uh, jumps and glitches in the video it's not actually due to the streaming from the tablet to the TV it's actually this started right after I updated it to 4.4 I don't know if there was a problem that happened during the update uh, but it started creating this issue with video I don't even have to have it plugged into the TV to notice this issue so I might be looking at maybe doing a restore or something on it to get it fixed but yeah, overall, it, it does a great job. I think the quad-core processor overall and the Giga RAM is definitely helping it, uh, you know, be able to do two of the, you know, having videos on both uh, displays and not have any actual issues with it. Also, so, on top of it playing video perfectly fine, if you're actually scrolling between pages for the tablet, it's actually very, very smooth. There is no lag in between the two. Uh, so everything actually comes up almost instantaneously. What you do on the tablet happens on the screen. So that's awesome as well. Uh, as you can see, anytime I select something, it just it just does it. So it's all, I mean it's doing a great job. And honestly, for the price of the tablet to be able to do this, as we've seen with other cheap tablets, it's not as nice and smooth. This has been Full Throttle with T3G. Make sure you like and subscribe, and if you don't like, you can go ahead and hit the dislike button. And don't forget to visit our website, t3gtech.com, uh, for more news uh, and uh, articles about tech, and uh, we'll see you next time. And Red X. And Red X.